It's a very light week ahead for the blue and gold this week, but we do have our first Battle of the Bridge matchup against the Niagara Purple Eagles. I'm Griffin Della Pena, and welcome to this week's edition of Around Canisius Athletics presented by Niagara Scenic Tours. In their first game of MAC play this season, the women's soccer team defeated the Ryder Bronx 2-1 on Saturday afternoon. Tiani Finotti in the 11th minute crossed the ball into the box to Jen Romero for the header goal, and she also scored her second goal of the afternoon in the 85th minute to secure the win. Now sitting at 3-2-3, the women's soccer team will host another game this upcoming week at the Dembski Sports Complex as the Quinnipiac Bobcats come to town on Saturday. Even more impressive performances for both cross-country teams this past week at the National Catholic Championships. The men's team finished 5th out of 16 teams with Tom Appenheimer crossing the finish line 14th overall. On the women's side, they placed 6th with Marissa Silva, Olivia Moran and Jules Jones finishing in the top 40. For the golf team, sophomore Ryan M. Holm finished with a career-low 139 in 36 holes, finishing third at the Cornell Temple Invite. As a team, the Griffs finished 14th overall out of 16 teams and will get back to work for the Little Three Championships at the end of this month. With yet another 0-0 tie for the men's soccer team against Binghamton this last weekend, that now makes it three in a row. Goalkeeper Will Howard had seven saves against the Bearcats as he now ranks 12th in the entire country with 26 total saves and 11th with saves per game with 5.2. Team will now have their last non-conference game of the season against Cornell this upcoming Tuesday. The Volley Griffs split their two matches this past weekend against Connecticut foes. On Saturday, the Griffs lost in three sets to the Fairfield Stags, who are the reigning MAC champions, but responded on Sunday with a comeback five-set victory against the Quinnipiac Bobcats. This upcoming week, they will face off against Niagara, as the Purple Eagles will have a home-and-home -home series with the Griffs. So that's going to do it for this week in Around Canisius Athletics. Make sure to follow our social media channels as well as stay up to date on GoGriffs.com. Signing off, I'm Griffin Della Pena, and as always, Go Griffs.